Hi, today we will read about how to prepare pyridine. The well-known method of pyridine synthesis is Hanks pyridine synthesis. Starting material of Hanks pyridine synthesis are ethyl acetoacetate. Ammonia and acetaldehyde. They give this pyridine derivative. And then by oxidation, our required pyridine is formed. In step 1, enamine will form. At first, in ethyl acetoacetate, two carbonyl carbon are present. Lone pair of ammonia will attack this carbonyl carbon. The, this lone pair don't attack to this carbon because this OET group have plus R defect which reduces the electrophilicity of this carbonyl carbon. So, so, the reaction will passes by attacking this carbonyl carbon. Now, NH3 positive form and it will lose one H plus and this H plus will capture by O minus and ultimately this product will form. Now, imine will form by releasing one H2O molecule by tautomerism. Then, imine will goes to enamine. Imine. This is the imine compound. Enamine. This is the enamine compound. And this is imine and amine tautomerism. In step 2, alpha beta unsaturated ketone or alpha beta unsaturated ester will form. At first, ethyl acetoacetate will go to its enol form. Here, a keto enol tauto Marism will observe. It is stable in its enol form due to hydrogen bonding. How? Like that. This is our hydrogen bond. Now, this enol form will react with acetaldehyde. Now again dehydration occurs. And the unsaturated carbonyl compound is formed. This compound is called alpha beta this position is alpha with respect to this ester group or this carbonyl group so and this is unsaturated double bond so it will call alpha beta unsaturated ketone or alpha beta unsaturated ester in step 3 this alpha beta unsaturated ester or ketone 
and this enamel will go to a sigma topic rearrangement what is sigma topic rearrangement sigma topic rearrangement means the rearrangement of sigma bond by rearrangement of sigma bond the compound will form now sigma topic rearrangement will occur to in between this enamine and alpha beta unsaturated ketone how will can remember this we can remember this by this way as pyridine have the formula like this so here nitrogen in the bottom position so we kept this nitrogen also in the bottom position then as your michael addition will take place so we place the double bond facing this side and as here is a co2 et group present and we will place a co2 group et group in its mirror position and then we can do it easily we will go to now michael addition takes place the bond will rotate there and it will form a o my i am using the addition it is michael addition to group again at a to this position and it will lose one h plus and this h plus will captured by this o minus again one h two atom will release and the same thing will occur and we will get something like this and this is our pyridine derivative not the pyridine and then by oxidation we will get this is ha the product of hank's pyridine synthesis actually pyridine compound have not these 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 these, these groups but here it had it is actually the substituted pyridine compound but we can call this pyridine because it is the product of hank's pyridine synthesis thank you